Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, can you guys hear me? Hello, guys. Hello, guys, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, Daisy. Noemi, Cesar, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me okay? Yes. I oh, okay. Yeah, because I was talking, talking, and talking, and I nobody was saying anything, so I thought you couldn't hear me. So, guys, welcome once again to another class. Um, it's really Good nice. Evening. Good evening, Janira. Uh, well, as I was saying, welcome guys to another class, another week. This is going to be our last week, as you already know. And we're going to finish this module this week on Thursday. So we're going to have like classes today, tomorrow and Wednesday. And on Thursday, we are expecting to have the last exam, okay? which is going to be regarding to all the topics that we have seen throughout the, the module, okay? So welcome to the ones that are just connecting to the class. Uh, I hope the other ones get connected throughout the session. If not, well, they have to let me know as I already told you the last time. So <clears throat> let's see. So how was your weekend, guys? Can someone tell me how was your weekend? What did you guys do? What did you guys do on the weekend? Hello. Can you hear me? Well, I really don't know if I'm talking to myself or something is going on, but... I see all the microphones off, and when I'm talking, it's like, uh, can you hear me, Francisco? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. I am sorry. I, uh, I am returning to my house. It is my, my work. Uh -huh. um, oh, you're uh, working now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I started in... Um, where's, uh, I don't know how to say it ahorita, sorry. On, uh, on Friday? On Friday, sorry. Uh, I started on Friday. Uh, and, and now, uh, continue my, my work. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's, All right. Uh, I know that's okay. So I just wanted to see if you can hear me because the others are saying nothing. So I thought they were, they were, did, they didn't. Are you a teacher? How are you today? Or, or you, well, you, I'm doing you? great so far. I had like a little cough during the weekend, mm -hmm. you know, flu and cough, but I'm feeling better. Thanks, God. So, okay, yeah, thanks for asking. Thank you very much, Francisco. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, Good evening. <laughs> yeah, that's sorry. okay. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. No problem. So welcome to the ones that just connected, guys. Welcome, welcome. So as I said at the beginning, this is going to be our last week. So uh, on Thursday, we are going to have the exam. I need everyone to pay attention to that. So if you do not come on Thursday, you will have zero automatically, okay? So remember, Thursday is our last day, so you have to come to class so you can do the exam. Now, um, let's see. As I told you last week, today we were going to start by uh, learning some slangs of the language. 
with that being said, we're going to start with that one. And let me just go ahead and share my screen so you can all see. You guys let me know uh, if you can see my screen. Can you guys see it? No, can teacher. You can't? Yeah, teacher. It's quite. Oh, oh quite. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one. Now, does anyone of you know, uh, let's see, let me just take a look in here. <clears throat> Well, uh, according to this, we only have uh, 11 people in here. Does any one of you know how do we say in English? Andar con rodeos. Does any one of you know how do we say that in English? Andar con rodeos. How do we say that? Do you guys know how do we say that? Any idea? Regarding to that? No, teacher. Not at all. No. No, estoy seguro, pero creo que es vida about Bush. No? Something like that. Yeah, you were pretty close. Okay. So we say beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. That's how we say it in English. So... That's part of a slang. This is a, 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 let's say like a phrase that it cannot be translated word by word. We cannot say it word, word by word. So this is a slang, which means it's a phrase or an idiom, which is 100% from the English language. There are some phrases that we can never translate them because they won't make sense if we translate them from English to Spanish or vice versa, you know, from Spanish to English. So for the next time, if someone asks you, how do we say, no te andes con rodeos, right? So you say, don't beat the rush, don't beat around the bush, okay? Beat around the bush. So I would like everyone to repeat it and we're gonna start by Alejandro. Alejandro, I don't know if you're there. Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. So uh, go ahead and just make the pronunciation of the phrase. That's all I want you to do. Okay, let me see. Around the bush. No, from here. Beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. Okay, now Nadia, let me listen to you. Let me see. Beat around the bush. Say it again. Beat around the bush. The bush, okay. It is. Good evening. Good evening. Beat around the bush. Around the bush. Bush, okay. Janira. Beat around the bush. Around the bush, correct. Thank you. Francisco Alberto. Well, looks like he's not there. Cesar Alexander. <clears throat> Beat around the bus. Around, around the bus. Around the bus. Okay, Noemi Alicia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Beat around the bus. Around, remember? Around. Around, okay. Around the bus. Daisy. Beat around the bus. Okay, Filomena. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Beat around the bush. Thank you. Rosemary. Good evening. Good evening. Beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. Okay, Javier. Good evening. Beat around the bush. Beat around the bush. Sonia. Around the bush, 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 bush. bush. okay. And <laughs> but in what context in negative form? 
like uh, like the same way you say it in Spanish. Let's 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 do an example. Like for example, you said you're yeah, talking yeah. you you're talking with someone and you and you tell him or tell her. No te andes con rodeos. How would you say that? And then so if we say no te andes, don't exactly don't don't beat and then like that okay okay, okay. Exactly. that's a good question then now we go with arriving good evening uh, beat around the bash bash okay and who has not participated i i think that i didn't ask someone teacher yeah. for example can i use it in another in another context uh, go ahead for example I don't like to speak with him because he used to be there on the bus. He Is that used okay? to. He used to. Let me let repeat it again, and I will. I will write it down. He used to be there on the bus. Not used in present. Oh. He used to be to be there on the bus. Is that okay? Let Let's try to find that out. So first of all, he used. What are you trying to say? El usa? El suele. So last... Con rodeos. Okay, last time I told you regarding to that in present. Soler in present. Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> Looks like you don't remember. That's what I can see when you said that. Now, I told you that when we say no suele like in present... We don't say this because if we say this, it's like he used, even though we would say that, it would have been like he uses, it's under, we understand a different thing. Mm -hmm. We do not understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. So he we uses. say, no. He's. He is. Used to, we can say he is used to be around the bush. Or if we're saying something like, this is in present. But we can also use it in the past. It's just to be it around the bush. Do you remember that I told you something like that last time? Yes, teacher. I have to to use the verb to be. Yeah, that's pretty much well. But yes, it's it's completely uh, useful. You can 100% use it if you wanted to say that. But don't forget to use the verb to be if you want to say something like that, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, any other question regarding to this? I don't think so, right? <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and start to what we have for today. Today, guys, we are going to be talking about time clauses. What are time clauses? And within time clauses, we are going to see something that in grammar we call conjunctions. Have you ever heard about conjunctions? Do you have any idea what a conjunction is? Or is it the first time that you are listening to that terminology? Is it the first time? Yes. Alrighty. So, first time. All right. No problem. So, let's start to try to find out what a conjunction is and how we can use a conjunction in the part of the grammar. So, let's start with a small, um, let's see, a small meaning of what a conjunction is. And I would like to have a volunteer. I will not ask you directly so if you want to participate you say it if you don't that's okay me teacher me okay teacher. so we go with uh arriving first and then examples we go with nadia thank you okay what are conjunctions a conjunction uh, is a word that connects to parts of of the sentence conjunct conjunctions have an important function because they join other words and phrases together. Without conjunctions, we could only make very, very simple sentences. Okay, thank you very much. Now, go ahead, uh, Nadia, with examples. Example, bread and butter. 
joint to work up the stair and along the corridor joint to first phrases phrases Ram likes tea and to Anthony likes coffee. Okay. Join two closed. Two clauses. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. So as it says there, a conjunction is a very important part of a sentence. Why? They will help you guys to connect either two words, two phrases, or two clauses. Now, e, as it says there, Without conjunctions, we could only make very simple sentences. What does it mean? Like, for example, if I say something, Ram likes tea. If I say something like that, that's okay. That's 100%. Good with the grammar and everything is okay. What is doing this conjunction in here? Helping us to have more information and connecting to what? To clauses. And obviously, without this conjunction, this wouldn't be possible unless we have a comma. That's it. Now, um, it is important, or the only thing that you have to remember regarding the conjunctions is that their function is joining or helping phrases, words, clauses to be together. That's it. That's the only thing that you have to remember, which is the most important part. Now, we're going to have more examples regarding to that. And some very, uh, like these are things very important to remember and you don't have to forget them. What are they? There is no special form for conjunctions. Number two, many of them are simple words like but, for since in other two or three words so we have so that in order that as long as have you ever used one of those guys yes teacher yes the most common is but but yeah that's the most common one or sometimes we use for in order that it's not commonly used, but once you learn how to speak English like or you got more fluency, you start using those ones. Now, here we're going to see that we have two type of conjunctions, but in this case, we are only going to talk about one type, which is the one that we're going to be focusing on. Now, remember, these are small words or simple words or more than three words or two words, but at the end, all of them, for example, in order that, all the three little words are one conjunction by itself, even though we can see three small uh, words. Now, let's have some examples. Here we have Jack and Jill went up the hill. Now, could we say uh, Jack Hill went up the hill? If we don't have a conjunction in here and we only say Jack Jill, we are going to understand that Jill is a last name, right? We will never think of, like this is an other name. So without a conjunction in here, we wouldn't be able to identify that we are talking about two different people. If we wouldn't have this, we automatically, uh, we would have thought, like, for example, this is one name, Jack Jill. But no, that's why our conjunction is very useful. Now, obviously, this is something, guys, that you are not going to pay attention when you're speaking. This is something that we only do automatically while speaking. Now, do you know what although means? Although, what's that? Sin embargo. So if I say I went swimming, although it was cold. Aunque. Aunque a pesar de, I don't know. Aunque. So if we are translating this from English to Spanish, if, and if I say I went swimming, although it was cold, what do you guys understand? Fui a nadar aunque estaba helado. Exactly. Remember, conjunctions can be a little bit tricky. Why? Because sometimes 
they all can mean the same thing. For example, if I say, I went swimming though it was cold, will that be the same thing? I'm not saying although, I'm saying though. If I say, I went swimming though it was cold, am I saying the same thing? Last time I saw this topic, I never understood the meaning of the, because the, no. uh, because sometimes some people used to you are used to use it at the end of the sentence, and sometimes in the middle of the sentence. Yeah, right. You're completely right. So in English, we have two ways of saying that. When you're speaking like in very informal or, or when you are texting, like through WhatsApp, through Messenger or any other texting app, most of the time you are going to see this little contraction, which is the same as this one. These two are the same thing. What is this? This one is used on chat, like texting. For example, if I tell you, let me write something here. If I tell you, Do you understand that? That was so delicious pupusa, though. Do you guys understand that? Yeah. What am I saying there? Um, que las pupusas estaban deliciosas. But I have though. That was so delicious pupusa, though. What am I saying, guys? Nobody? Me. Uh -huh. What am I saying? Ricardo, what am I saying in here? If I say, if I say that, go ahead, I'm sorry. Maybe, uh, aunque esas pupusas estaban deliciosas. Esas, okay. Um, Ricardo, what do, you, what do you think? That was a delicious pupusa, though. I need everyone to start thinking about it. Think about it. Think, think, think. Y si me la... Uh, Maybe it is why? Mm, I don't know. You tell me. What do you understand if I if I tell you? Uh, let's let's imagine that I'm talking with you, Ricardo, and I tell you, oh, Ricardo, I was a delicious pupusa, though. True. What was that? Too very hot. Okay, so looks like nobody knows what though means. Do you guys know what though? Yeah, Daisy. Aunque esa fue una pupusa deliciosa. No obstante. No obstante. Una pupusa deliciosa. Okay, so you you were. You were pretty close. When we say that was a delicious pupusa though, we can have two different meanings. The first one, it can be, aunque esa fue una pupusa deliciosa. Or we can say, sin embargo, esa fue una pupusa deliciosa. Hmm. You I see? Have a question, teacher. What's the question? Um, delicious, uh, no debe ir una ahí también. That was good. How do we spell it, Deli? Oh, sorry. Good spelling. Yeah. Good spelling. Okay, good. Sir, you you said aunque and the other one was which one? Can you Sin repeat em. it, please? Sin embargo. 
Oh, thank you. So that's why that's why I told you. Although, though, even though all of them are pretty much the same thing. What's the difference? The usage and the position in a sentence. Now, let me try with another phrase. Teacher. Yeah. Um then to and and alto are the same. Uh you mean let me write it down. This This one right here? The second one. T H O. Oh. And, you mean and, this one? Uh huh. Okay. Both of them. Both of them are yeah. the same. This and this uh -huh. are the same one. As I told you, this one is the contraction that Americans are going to use only when texting. Let's say that you're texting with your friend on WhatsApp or you're texting with your best friend on Messenger or you're uh, commenting something on Facebook and you want to say the contraction. You say you can type though or you can type though. So both of them are the same thing. <clears throat> okay, teacher. Thank you. Alrighty. Any other question regarding to that? No. Now, let me write another example. Teacher, how do you write even though? Let me, let me see. Let me just finish this. Now, so even though it's going to be like this, let me just move. Oh, Jesus Christ. I messed it up. Already, let's see. <clears throat> so even though it's, oh, Jesus. Okay, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. So even though. No. Oh, so, okay. thank you. Yeah. Now, if I say, though it was raining, I went to the park, what am I saying? Hey, teacher. Yeah, Wendy. Aunque estaba lloviendo, fui al parque. Exactly. So if you see, what I'm telling you guys and what I want you to understand is that although, even though, though, or which is this, this one, both of them, though, they are pretty much the same thing. The usage or the way we use them is pretty much similar when we translate them. The only difference from them is going to be the position, okay? This one, do you think that I could say, although I went swimming, it was cold? Can I say that? Although... Yeah, teacher, it's clear. It's clear. Thanks. Oh, I, I don't know what, what do you mean is clear. Probably he's listened to to what I said before. Yes. So can I say although it was called I went swimming? Can I say that? Yes. Why do you think so? Um, because the al traducirlo se entiende. <laughs> yeah, when we translate it, it makes sense. Yeah, I know it makes sense. Yeah, but we can do that. And we are going to understand that later on in the other examples that we're going to have. This was just general. Uh, I mean, these were only general examples uh, that I wanted to show you. But of course, we're going to go one by one. So we are going to have more examples so you can understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> the type of conjunction that I will be focusing on today is going to be subordinating conjunctions. What are they? Let me listen to you, Alejandro. Do you want to read, teacher? Excuse me. I... Yeah, I want you to read. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, subordinating conjunct conjunctions. Conjunctions, mm -hmm. yeah. Conjunctions. Okay. Joins joins a subordinated a subordinate. Subordinate. Uh, subordinate. Joins a subordinate depend close to a main independent independent. Independ Independent clause. And clause. Independent clause. Independent clause. Okay, in here we have an example. Ram went swimming. So this is the main thing. Why do we call them main clause? Because this is the main thing we're talking about. As we said before, and if we go back, conjunctions are only words that will help us to what? to connect that's it that's the thing that we have to remember so what is this thing doing here connecting what to the other context because if we don't have a connection in here between this one and this one it doesn't make sense we cannot say it or people is going to understand so if we say ram went swimming it was raining ram went swimming it was raining it sounds like uh, like we are not speaking correctly, right? So it's always necessary to have a conjunction in there, okay? And uh, we're going to have more examples about subordinating conjunctions, and let me show them to you. And here, we have to remember, subordinating conjunction always comes at the beginning of a dependent clause. It says introduces a dependent clause. And we have the same example that we had before. Can you identify what is the main clause in this one? Ram went swimming although it was raining. Very easy. Sam went, Ram, I'm sorry, Ram went swimming. Why? Because this is the object that we are talking about, okay? So when we say, although, here we have, here we do not use a comma, and you will understand later on why a comma will be necessary. And here, however, a dependent clause can come after or before a main independent clause. What does it mean? I can say, although it was raining, Ram went swimming. That's pretty much it. And here, what is going to be the difference? That if you move, if you make that change and you pass or we move the clause at the beginning, then we will have to use a comma so we make sense. Why do we use a comma in Spanish? This is very basic. Why do we use a comma in Spanish? To separate sentences. To separate sentences. When we're speaking, do we do some yeah. something special when we see a it's comma? A yeah, it's it's a we pause. make up a little pause. space. Okay, it is no pause. We don't say pause in English. We say pause, like pause. pause. Mm -hmm. it's pause. A, we, we make a little pause and we say, although it was raining, little pause, Ram went swimming. The same exactly thing that we do in Spanish, that's exactly the same thing that we are going to do when we see a coma in English. That's universal language, okay? So if you see a coma, you know that you will have to make a little pause. It does not mean like uh, 15 seconds, no, like one second or two or three the most. Like, although it was raining, Ram went swimming. That's it. Okay? So I need you to understand that difference. Every single time that we have the conjunction at the beginning, that clause needs to have a comma. If the conjunction is in the second sentence, then we don't use a comma. That's not necessary at all. That's something that we need to remember. Now, with the information set so far, is there any question?
Not at all. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, in this case, teacher, uh, the conjunction um will will be in the middle of the complete sentences. What do you mean? Um, between between the dependent clause and independent, independent yeah. Mm -hmm. But here, that's 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 what we're that's what we having here. Can someone tell me what is the dependent clause in here? The depending. It, the, it. It was raining. Mm -hmm. All through all all through it was raining. Although it was raining, so what is the independent clause? Round when swimming. So Swing. let me tell you this in very simple words. We call dependent, le llamamos dependent aquella clause que sin la principal no puede hacer nada. Without the main clause, that's not make sense, right? And we call um, independent, sense. yeah, correct. And we call independent clause to the one or the main sentence we're talking about. That's the independent. Why? Because if we leave it alone, if I say Ram went swimming, that's it. We can say Ram went swimming. So that's an independent clause. Why? Because if I have it by itself, it will still make sense by itself. So that's the difference, like in very simple words for you to understand it. Now, let's move on and let's have some examples or some common examples of subordinating conjunctions. Now, I want to listen to pronunciation of you. And after that, I will pronunciate them myself. Now, Alejandro, I need you to go through the first one. After. After. Or all the line. No, the column. Or column, okay. After, Aldo, as, because, before, it once. Your microphone, like teacher. teacher. <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry. Thanks. Thank you for letting me know. Now, since we are all adults here, I want you to know, guys, the difference in pronunciation between this one and this one. Okay. We we all know what that's what's the meaning of this one, correct? Yes, yes teacher. All right. Now let's let's make a clear difference between this and this. What is that one? We don't make a strong S in here. Though we we make a strong a, a strong, let's say a strong accent when we say this one. Like the letter A, like it changes just a little. Let me tell you, we say this one as, like as. We don't make, and this one is as. Like the sound of the letter S, it's yes. more strong. So yes. please, uh. yeah, right. So please do not make or do not make the sound of the letter S longer. Otherwise, it will sound as if you're saying this instead of this okay? okay let's let's be clear on that now thank you very much alejandro thank wendy you. let's go with you column number two since then though until while i don't know how to pronounce it go ahead Whereas, mm -hmm. and a small chest okay Alrighty. Now, uh, can I have a volunteer for number three, column number three? Me, teacher Noemi. Noemi, go ahead. As as long as, even okay. thought, whenever, by the time, only once, only if. Okay. Como dice un juego por ahí, nuevo nivel desbloqueado. 
from now on, I will need you guys to start practicing the difference between this one because I'm listening to all of you and you are not saying what you think you're saying. So let's please, please be a little bit careful on that, okay? Now, how do we say this? Because. 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 We, we don't say because. because. We never say because, okay? Now, uh, will uh, someone there, will... Yeah, go ahead. Is there a reason that once is repeated? Once. Oh, in no. The first and in the third line? Oh, that, that was my mistake. Yeah, that was my mistake. Sorry. Yeah, I created this little chart. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. Uh, now, let me repeat them myself. And if you can repeat them at home, please have your microphone off if you want to repeat them. Though some of them are very common, so you already know how to pronunciate them. So after, although... Remember, although, as, because, before, if, if, it's not if, it's if. Si escuchamos la diferencia, yo no estoy diciendo if, I'm saying if. Do we listen to the difference? Si escuchamos la diferencia en pronunciation? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, that's good. Now we say if, once, since, then. We don't say then, we say then. In this case, even though the majority of us know that TH, most of the time, if not always, is pronounced as the letter Z. But in this case, it's not pronounced as Z. We pronounce it as the letter D. So we say then, though, though, until, until, while, while, whereas, whereas, as much as, as long as, even though, whenever, by the time, only once, only if. Now, is there any question regarding to these conjunctions? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, what is the difference about the word also and only all and only so and even so? Even though. Okay, so although though and even though they have pretty much the same meaning what is going to be the difference as i told you before the usage or in this case the position of the sentence most of the time if you're speaking professionally or if you're giving a speech in front of you know some directors of school or you know something someone very important in society most of the time the word used to express aunque is going to be even though so that's is going to be like the most formal word to say aunque nevertheless we can also use although or though like as secondary options do you understand, Nadia? Or does that clarify your question? Yes, teacher. And and we can use the short word though for the three, for this three three word of though, though, and even though. Even though, yeah, correct. Yeah, we can use them all in the same situation, in the same place. Sometimes it will change. As I said before, this one is going to be more formal. The other ones are going to be like normal language. Mm -hmm. And the informal in the informal communication for this three word, we can use uh, the only toe and the... You mean... You mean this? Yes. In this in the three words we can use to when the informal 
um, communication or only to or out to? No, this one, this one, as I said, is only going to be used when you are texting on WhatsApp, when you're texting on Messenger, or you are using any other app related to texting, or if you are commenting on Facebook. This is very, very informal language. So this is only used in those situations. No more than that. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, you're very welcome. Now, any other questions so far? Whereas, what does that mean? Aha, does anyone know what whereas mean? No one? Really? Donde sea? Donde sea. Give me an example then. In Spanish only. Like you said, donde sea. So? Eh, donde nos vemos. Donde sea. Does anyone else know how do we use whereas? Mm. Maybe mientras. Google says mientras. Yeah. <laughs> so if we go to Google and my if we use Google Translator, say... yeah, Google Translator is not going to help us that much. So when we say whereas is is we can use it mientras que or we can also use it as considerando que. Like for example, uh let me write an example in here. <clears throat> Let's see, let me write in here. Here. Let's see. What do you guys understand if I say she went to Ohio where it was difficult? No one? ¿Por qué me los imagino yendo al Google ahorita todos? I don't know why. Tengo el presentimiento. I'm feeling it. Um, pues creo que es. Ella fue a Ohio. Mientras que era difícil. Ok. All right. Mm. Thank you, Wendy. Maybe cuando, teacher. Cuando. Well, I don't know. Okay, so we, as I told you, whereas means mientras que, considerando que. So we have both. Now, we can say she went to Ohio, whereas it was difficult. Ella fue a Ohio considerando que era difícil. You see? Those are words that Probably, and it's understandable not to know them. Why? Because we don't use them so commonly. They are not commonly used. Otherwise, like, there are some, like, books or something, or, like, a, a small paragraph where you can easily see it. So, it's, it's okay for you to know, like, it's better mm -hmm. if you know what's the meaning of the word. Okay? So... Is there any other question regarding to that? Um, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, is meanwhile a conjunction? Meanwhile, it is. If I say meanwhile, what does it mean? Mientras tanto. Mientras tanto. So if I say like... Uh, you have to make or you have to prepare 
or, or you have to get ready for your exam. Meanwhile, I create my PowerPoint presentation. Will that be okay? Let me repeat it. You have to get ready for the exam. Meanwhile, I prepare my PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. Mientras. Mientras que. Uh -huh. I think that we have, it's necessary for all of you to have a, a translation curse. A yep. translation curse is necessary. Why? Because we don't have to use Google. Remember, if you use Google, guys, every teacher will automatically know that you use Google Translator. Um, uh, teacher, sorry. Yeah. Can you help us to find uh, a good dictionary? Dictionary. Do you mean a dictionary <laughs> yes. or a translator? A translator or a dictionary. A translator. Yes, there's one translator, which is okay. like 95 accuracy. It has like 95 accuracy. But of course, as you already know, like uh, dictionaries or translators, online translators, they are created by, you know, coding and they are created by humans or sometimes by codes like rabbits or something. So they will not be like 100% accurate. Nevertheless, there are some of them which are better than Google Translator. I can tell you that. If you are interested in that, Reach out to me because I won't say it in here, but reach out to me and I will give you some tips, okay? But not in here. Mm -hmm. Now, any other question? Teacher. Yeah. As long as is used for comparison. So if I tell you, as long as. Uh, Let's say, let, let me think about an example. As long as you I need to... <laughs> Did you remember the... <laughs> What, say it? Boy, teacher? Say it? No. As long as, as, you, as, long love as you, me, you love me. There is a song of Boxer Boy, teacher. That's a good example. As <laughs> long as you know, love but... me. You <laughs> see? Just... <laughs> so when it's we so say, boring. as long as you love me, what do we understand by that? Tanto como me amas. Siempre y cuando me amas. Siempre, no, como me amas. siempre y cuando me amas. As long as ah. you love me. Siempre, siempre y cuando. Y cuando. Yep. ¿Dónde dice siempre y dónde dice cuando? That's, that's something. <laughs> that's why. You see, that is why we don't have to use translators, <laughs> online translators. I understand okay. that as is like como. Como, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como yeah. largo, como. Yeah, right. That's, that's, if you go to Google Translator, that's what it will say. Ta, uh, como largo, como. como that's, largo. But it, it is not like that. That's why I, I always tell you, like, uh, do not try to translate word by word from Spanish to English because it, it doesn't work in that way. There's some phrases as the one that we saw at the beginning of the class, like, Beat around the bush. What's the meaning, teacher? Like of what? As long as. Oh, we already said it. Siempre y cuando. Siempre y cuando. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Any other question? All right. So I will stop sharing. And now it's the time for you to work individually. Why? Because if we work on teams, some of you work, some of you don't. I already know you guys. So if I get to have another course with you, I will know how you guys work. All right. So let me, let me just type, please. I will type some, um, some sentences on the on the chat of the meeting they will only be three so uh it won't be difficult like five minutes that's okay so let me let me just look for them 
Okay, let me type it in, number one. Let's see. Now, that's number one, start working on that. What do I want you to do? I want you to find the best conjunction possible to what? To put them together. I will give you the freedom to move and play with the sentence, okay? It will be up to you. Then, if you don't finish them in five minutes, I will give you the chance to send it to me tomorrow morning or today after the class. Now, let me just type number two. That is number two. Now let me type number three. Okay, that's it, three. Do you guys understand what you have to do? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Remember, only use a conjunction. That's not difficult, okay? And I, 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 I didn't will... understand, teacher. Could you explain, please? Yeah. From the three sentences that you have on the chat, the meeting chat, I want you to uh, you know, get the best answer possible using one conjunction. I will give you the freedom to play with the sentence so you can either move it or you can change it or you can do whatever you have to do in order to make it sound like better or to have a better meaning or whatever you think is best. Remember that you have to do that on your notebook or if you're using your phone, in your phone, or if you're using a not notepad or, you know, like a sticky pad or something or sticky form or something like that. Okay, teacher.
Now, let me see if you guys remember. Why do you think that I don't have on number three? Why do you think I didn't say deers? Deers are cute. Why did I only say deer are cute? Uh -huh. Deers is, este, los venados son uh, lindos. Yeah, but why, why did I say are if I'm saying deer are? Uh, no, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a plural. It's a it's plural. It's a conjunto. <laughs> As uh, como un conjunto of what? de venados. De venados. Okay. So, but why didn't I say deers with S? Ciervos. Yeah, you're Maybe right. Maybe it's an exception to the rule. It's an exception. Deer, I can never say deers if I want to say Pluto. It's the same as sheep. If I say sheep, you know what a sheep is? Uh, oveja. Yeah, I cannot say sheeps. Why? Because they not they don't have Pluto. Do you remember that? Guys, oh my god. I will start praying. Mm -hmm. I will start praying for you all. My my prayers are going to be with you guys, okay? Teacher, I think the main problem is that we I remember that I that I saw those topics mm -hmm. in the past, but because I never practiced them, I used to forget some some things that Usually, I understand. Yeah, but I, I have to refresh a lot of topics. Yeah, I know, and that's why when we speak, we make a lot of mistakes. Why we are not able to remember what we saw in the past, and those little mistakes are like if someone asks you, or sometimes you might think that you are not speaking correctly because of that, but. You are, because nobody paid attention to that sentence. If I had never asked you, you weren't. You would have never paid attention to that, right? Yes, because for example, I use I used to. I'm used to, uh, watch movies and TV series, in English with subtitles, but. I can listen to the characters and I don't pay attention to the rules. I just know that some things uh, have to be said uh, in a in a in one way, but I don't know why. I just know that this this is it and that's, well, that's it. That's, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I know that happens. That happens. All right. So if you were not able to finish that, guys, please tomorrow morning or during the day, just, I want you. Me. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Excuse me. Which Which is your number, teacher? My My number. It's on the It's on the group. Are you on the group? Yes, teacher. But I don't. So let let me send let me send a hi hi this is teacher Nelson yeah I have my name in there your name is Nelson Ramirez yeah that's my name oh yeah 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 already yes. okay so please send it to me and I will be checking all of those examples remember guys on thursday we will have an exam okay so be ready for that i'm telling you since today please be ready it's going to be oral why pronunciation is my goal in here 
okay? It's not going to be something that you will have to write, no, oral. So be ready for that. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for being here today. Sorry that I, I always take more of the time. And, uh, well, I hope we learned something today. Tomorrow, I will ask you regarding to the uh, idioms that we saw today. What was the idiom before we go? Can someone tell me? Let me teach you again. What's the idiom? Expressions that can't be translated in Spanish. So what's the one that we saw today? Hmm. Night owl. <laughs> oh, what? I'm, I'm a night owl. No, what's oh, the one oh. that we saw today? Oh. Hit. Beat around the bush. Beat yeah. around yeah. the bush. What does it mean? Andar con rodeos. No andar con rodeos o andar con rodeos. If we, if we add done, so no andar, but that's okay. Alrighty, so that's the one. Thank you so much, guys. Tomorrow. Teacher, yeah, go ahead. Yes, and a last question. Idioms is the same of slangs. Uh, slangs. Yeah, right. Okay, thank you. Slangs. Slangs are sometimes some little words, and idioms are like bigger, like sentences, whole sentences. But at the end, that's oh. pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. Now, uh, that's uh, the only thing that we have for today. Tomorrow, we will have another idiom. So thank you very much for being here. And I will see you all tomorrow at the same time. Have a good night. Okay, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye.